<sighs> hey y'all, Brady Chesson here. And I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna be talking to the adult children. And I know that a lot of you don't like to be called children, but for the sake of parents and children, I'm going to call you children. And um, it's not a slight, it's literally trying to differ. You know, I want you to know that, yeah. So there's a lot of children out there, adult children who are cutting off their parents. And their reason for the most part is they were toxic. It was them, you know what you did type of thing. But understanding that cutting off your parents have a lot more to do with you than they do ever could ever do about them. So understanding why you do something or why you cut someone off, you have to understand yourself. And so you're not bringing people into your trauma, your parent trauma. So I had a nice, really nice conversation with a young lady at the coffee shop. And she was talking about how she doesn't really talk to her parents. And so um, I, I asked, would you, do you mind asking why? And she was like, oh, we just don't get along. And I was just like, well, when you don't get along with people, what do you do? And she was like, well, I just don't talk to them, you know, talk to them anymore. And I asked her, um, well, you know, how is your life? And she was saying that she was pretty lonely. And I, I didn't like, you know, say, well, it's because of your parents or because you no. it's because of how you deal with things. So if your foundation, right, which is your parents is now fractured, understand it's going to undermine the, the whole architecture of your building. Like the, it's going to affect your house. If your foundation is cracked, now your house is shifted. Now, you know, the pipes might break or there's certain things. So, you know, you got to pay attention to what's going on with your foundation. And we have come into an instantaneous, you know, emotional generation in our society now where it's just easier to cut off the problem rather than to deal with the problem. Resilience is something that's learned because there's things in life that are not easy to navigate. And so if you feel like your parents didn't pay attention to you, or if you feel like they paid too much attention to you, what did you learn from that? It can't be, well, I don't want to deal with them anymore, so I'm just going to cut them out of my life. Especially if they're not parents that that harmed you overtly or intentionally. Because I give things intent. So if they did not intentionally hurt you, there's a part of you that understands that. But it's easier for you not to deal with it than to deal with it. Again, that has a lot to do with you and nothing to do with anyone else. So... Your problem solving skills might be something that you need to navigate. We got people that get hired for jobs and if they don't get approved for a certain time period that they want off from work, they quit the job. Now, it might be working for you now, but as far as long term, unless you plan on just being rich, it affects everything that you do. It affects your credit. It affects your you know, all the things that's from long-term, but you're not thinking about long-term. You're thinking about right now and how I feel. And it's okay to be selfish in that way because you don't want to martyr yourself in your life because sometimes that's what our parents did. But when you cut off people and when you cut off a piece of your, your foundation, it's like cutting off a limb. Now, when you cut off a hand, you're using your other hand for something else. And you're using your other hand for everything. And so now what part of you is overcompensating for that part of you that's missing? Because you might be projecting what you feel about the whole situation onto other people because you want to feel validated with your, with your situation. And the thing about it is that healing is not the same as validation. 
just because someone, even a therapist or a coach or a psychologist, a psychotherapist agrees with you, doesn't mean that you're healed. There has to be a process within you that you're actually going into healing because if you don't heal it, it's going to affect everything in you because it's a part of your foundation. And I might get some flack for it, but understand that when, you know, you start cutting off things, it it does affect you. I mean, and now you coming into it and you're raising your own children with a part of your foundation that's missing and trust and believe it's evident. You might find a partner with a parent wound of their own and you guys trauma bond and form a family on trauma. There, These are things that will affect your own children. And like I said before, we do have this microwave type of way of living where everything is is summed up quickly. Again, how many relationships have you had on social media? I've never met them, but I love them. I mean, you know, in my work, I've met thousands of people that I love and never met them in person. But this is because of connections. Connections are not hard anymore. And There are people that never, ever since, you know, like before that don't leave the house that don't have to leave the house now. And so cutting off people is easy because all you have to do is never talk to them again. And so now you've built this silo of yourself that is a comfort zone, but understand it's not healthy to live in a silo of self. I just wish you healing. I wish you peace. I wish you love. And more than anything, I would love for you to heal. But that takes accountability for who you are in reference to what you're campaigning against. If you if if that makes sense. Because what you get rid of or what you cut off has a lot to do with you more than it ever did with anyone else. I want you to take care of yourself. All right.